Hi, my name is Debbie, and the subject matter um, that I am presenting on is acceptance. I chose acceptance because it feels like it is the recurring theme of my life. <clears throat> I'm going to dive right, right in for um, time purposes. Uh, when I was young, uh, 20 years old, I was the victim of a crime <clears throat> while I was vacationing in Florida. I'm not going to get too much into the details of the actual crime. But um, I had to come around and accept a lot about that. I had to accept that life at that point had pivoted and changed as I knew it. Um, I was no longer that carefree, um, secure girl feeling safe. Um, I struggled a lot and, and still do. Um, uh, in regards to certain situations. Um, another part of it that I had to accept was what was required of me civilly, the right thing to do, which was that after this man was caught, I had to fly down and testify. Um, he got put away for 17 years, I'm happy to say. Uh, but if you do the math, I'm much older than 17 years. And one day when I least expected, when I was engaged to my husband to be married, I got a call from Florida asking me to come back down and testify because he was about to be released from prison. And uh, Florida has this wonderful program. I think it's called the Jimmy Rice Act. I haven't, um, I haven't Googled it in a while. But um, it would be like, I guess, what you would call uh, an extended rehabilitation. Because while this man did many, many years in prison, they didn't think that he was fully fit to be back out in society. So I went down again and testified um, to have him committed to that. And again, he was found to be in need of that. And that's where I last left off with Florida and that chapter. Um, so that was one thing that I had to come around and accept in life. Um, the second thing um, is still developing, still like in li real time, lifetime. And that is that five years and two days ago, my son, my child, who was only in third grade at that age, um, asked me to stop drinking. Yeah. Um, and that was super annoying, I have to say, at the time, because um, I used to enjoy it. Yeah, I used to like to cocktail and that type of thing. But I always wanted to pride myself on being a very good mom. So I accepted that challenge. I did. He was learning about it in school. Um, did not think I had a problem by any means. And uh, the first six weeks, I was going along, and I was doing really well. And I was like, oh, this is so easy. And then one day in the beginning of June, um, I came home and I really, really wanted a drink. The barbecue, my I came home and the it was the barbecue smell and the pool was glistening and music playing, rock playing on the radio, and I just wanted to have a drink, man. That was all my jam. That was that was when I struck. So I decided to go to AA. Oh, I know what a cult, right? Um, <laughs> Uh, through my years in AA, well, through the beginning periods, um, I wouldn't say I was an alcoholic. You know how they all announce themselves and say it? No, I wouldn't do that. I would announce how long it had been since I had a drink because then people would clap. Yeah, they would clap. I really liked getting to the clapping. I'm all about the applause. But anyway, um, as I'm going along, um, not saying I'm an alcoholic, just giving my day count, my month count at that point. Uh, one girl got up and told a story, and it was exactly like mine. And that's when my perception started shifting. I was like, hmm, huh, wow, maybe I am. Uh, and through the years, I have started learning more and more about alcoholism. When I was about two years sober, my friend Sue's husband, John, killed himself. And... Uh, my husband and I were talking about it one day, and he was like, well, don't you kind of feel like John always was like an alcoholic and stuff? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. You know, I think that John was born with fetal alcohol syndrome. And I remember at the time, I told my sponsor, who was my sponsor, about John, and she's like, aren't you so glad you're sober and you're in a program? 
And I was like, now I'm like two years sober, and I'm like, oh my god, I used to go a little overboard the wine. This wine is so, so pro AA, so pro, you know. And I'm like, thinking she doesn't understand me at all. But you know, it's three years later, and I have to say, given what I've learned through the years about alcoholism, I no longer put any distinctions between myself and that old man in the bar who is like, um, you know, just drinking back the hard stuff to steady his hand from shaking. I don't, um, you know, uh, and, and I've never been happier. Acceptance, acceptance, it, it's like when the light bulb goes off, um, man, there's nothing like it. It opens you up to a whole new world no matter what the subject may be. Um, I am going to end on a major thing I've had to accept in life, and I'm going to ask my 14-year-old son to give us some um, perspective on his feelings for it, okay? And I'm going to warn you in advance. He is 14. He has a major league attitude. Oh, also, I'm not really crafty like Molly is with the whole fade and the music and the screen upside down thing i'm just gonna press pause and then come back on okay be right back to you okay hi i'm picking back up i didn't know how to turn the video around so um i'm just gonna introduce you this is my son ryan what do you say sweetheart hi why no not hi why just say hi 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 okay great <laughs> and this is my son jt hi <laughs> Inside, please. Okay, wait a minute, Ryan. Ryan likes to go inside for some reason. Okay, it's a beautiful day out here. Inside, please. So, GT, I please. wanted to actually ask you Only about this, okay? Please. Do you think that Ryan is accepted by everybody? No. You don't? Okay. What do you, why do you think that is? Because I love her was going around about low IQ, race, uh, anything else? People from other countries. People from other countries. Yeah, it just has to stop. It has to stop. How do you think that um, people would be more willing to accept Ryan? They, uh, they, uh, they realize that Ryan's better than them. <laughs> well, that is true. But you would say by getting to know him, right? And Good side, please. Oh, sweetheart, we're in the middle of a bit here. Good side, please. I just told you you're better than everyone else. <laughs> okay. So, um, by getting to know him and to understand about people with disabilities, is that how you think? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for your participation in this. All right. <laughs> Ryan, what do you want to say? Hi, Ry. Hi, Ry. I'm saying the hi, Ry. Although, okay, wait, let me explain. He could see himself. That's why he's saying hi, Ry. He doesn't realize this is a video. Hi, Ry. <laughs> I love, couldn't love you more. And I couldn't love you more either. Don't I ride. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. So um, we got we got off the hook pretty pretty good. He didn't say anything fresh. I don't think I saw an eye roll, um, but you know it's always tricky. Um, he's right. That's what acceptance all comes down to being. It's it's studying and understanding and learning about what it is that you know we're ultimately hoping will be accepted you know you have to see me now out there talking about autism and I didn't accept it for a full year that my child had autism for one these children are diagnosed at a young age and um it could just be that they're slightly delayed um but the more and more I learned and the more I identified like my journey with um alcohol uh the more I realized no, he, he is. He does have autism, and it doesn't have to be a bad thing. And with everything that I've come to have to accept in life, there has ultimately been a freedom, a freedom um, from being stuck. Yeah, I would call people that uh, are not coming around to, um, to being stuck, um, and accepting has you moving on. Accepting has you embracing. Um, you know, and and it's it. There's a lot of moving parts to it. It's not black and white. You know, I have to accept that 
um, GT is going to grow independent and he's going to leave me someday and that's tough. And then I have to accept that Ryan has limitations where um, he may not, you know, he's probably not. He's probably, uh, I have to live as long as I can because I don't know what's going to occur with my child. Um, and so in that way, it's ironic. Uh, you know, it's just both, both thoughts are very, very daunting to me. So this has gone on probably way too long already. So I wanted to say um, that I really, really am enjoying this class and I hope that my presentation on acceptance hit home a little bit for everyone. There'll be an accompanying paper for professor and um, that's it. Everybody be well today. Thanks.